everybody. Carla Nicole. How's everyone? I hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Um, so today is another beautiful day. Um, and the beautiful thing about it is, you know, um, transformation is not the easiest thing to do, but it is definitely necessary and something that we must do and have to do in this life. So with that said, um, I want to welcome everybody for all of those who have never been here. I am Carla Nicole. I'm a single mother of two children. I am also a wisdom coach and, um, you know, my spiritual mission is to encourage pre people to, uh, bring about a balance, bring about, um, an enlightenment in your life, bring about, um, power. And it's not hard to bring power. It's just very, um, you have to be crafty in this lifetime. Hey, Mookie, <laughs> how are you, love? Um, so I want to talk about something today that I think is vitally important. Um, but I'm gonna let, it, let some people jump on. Um, but this is the transformation series and, and transforming your life is not always simple. It's not always easy, but it is definitely essential to have a better, more powerful life. Um, I am going to use an analogy today, um, just to let you guys know, I have some very handsome gentlemen on my page, um, and some of which are actors. So I want to give a powerful shout out to Reg Hollywood and James True, and just to let you both know that you were the reason I wanted to use this analogy today about how to, um, transform your life. Okay. So as everyone's coming on, I want to welcome everybody. I am Carla Nicole. Like I said, if you're just joining, hi, Diane. How are you? Um, oh, you're beautiful also, sis. I'm so glad you're here. So today I'm going to get started. Look, it's about inspiring others. And this is my spiritual ministry. I am a wisdom coach. And everything that I do um, on Sunday, 12 to 1230, is to encourage people to get the best out of life while you are in this life. Okay, this is this is something that's very important to me. Um, and also, if you don't know, I have a course right now called Learn to Unlearn. And this is so powerful because a lot of times in our life, we become adults, we become married, we become parents, we become all of these things, but we don't realize that adult learning never ceases to end. We need to continue, okay? Continue learning. Continue your thirst for life. Continue to improve. Oh, continue to be curious. That's what my dad told me to, to give everybody as a message today. He said, your people that, that watch you, tell, tell them your daddy said. <laughs> to continue to be curious. And what that means is don't get so, I don't know, so bogged down with your everyday routine that you lose curiosity. You lose your desire to want to still learn and, and learn and have a thirst and hunger for life. Um, so I wanted to give you guys that too. So I'm going to get started. Um, I want to give you something, 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 something that you may not have thought about. Okay, so here's the thing. In our life, we all have been gifted the power to be the executive producer in our life. And so I'm going to take you down a thought of what actors actually are compared to what the executive producers are in life. So what, what I'm trying to get you to see is that in our life, it is our movie. It is our life movie. You know how us ladies love Lifetime, right? We want to watch Lifetime and turn it on. Or we want to go to the movies and see the new movie out. And we want to turn on the TV and watch the latest soap operas and all that stuff. And, and look, I'm not shyst in that. I love them too. But I want to give you something that's very important that I really want you to think about. Is that in this life right here, it's very important that we pay attention to the fact that we, right now, who we are are the number one person in life, in this life, that needs to play the main role in our life. 
So, okay, so the executive producer of movies, right? They're the ones that make the decisions on what's going to be in the movie. They're the ones that make sure that everything is produced properly. They make sure that all the actors are in alignment. They make sure that everything is done properly, right, in, in the movie. That's what executive producers do, okay? Now, what's the least role that you could get, right? Extras. I know you all have heard about extras, right? Oh, I want to be an extra in that movie. I want to be an extra in that movie where they got extras going on. Well, extras is a great opportunity for unknowns to get known through uh, doing something that is, you know, maybe walking by or being a stranger or being just atmosphere for the scene that, 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 that is needed for the movie. So executive producers, they seek out to find certain people to match the extra look that they need for that particular role, right? Then we have main characters, right? We have, um, and in main characters, the main characters are important in the movie, of course, because they're who we are going to, what, fall in love with, or we're going to begin to hate, or we're going to have a, I don't know, we have all different kinds of opinions about them because they're in the movie and they have a primary role in the movie, right? So that's important. So main characters, yes, are important. But the reason why I say that in our life, when we are navigating in our life and we are taking on a lot of things going on, sometimes I believe we get caught up in just seeing, see, thinking of our life and thinking of ourselves as just extras in the light, in, in our life. And what I mean by that is we're just standing idly by. We're just kind of, you know, we're there, but we're really not promoting or being being mindful or really focused on the fact that everything, every decision we're making is impactful in the life movie we're in right now. We are the number one role in our life. But a lot of times we don't want to see that. We don't want to think about that. We don't even want to put the energy forth about that. We just want to be like, eh, it's okay. It's cool, you know. Um, or we're constantly complaining, right? This happened to us in our life, and this happened to us in our life, and this is going on, and this is what's going on. But I want you guys to think about something that I think is very, very important. In our life, we are, we are the executive producers. Yet we can find ourselves demoting ourselves into becoming an extra because we don't want to have to deal I don't want to have to deal with the fact that I have this to do or that to do in my life. I would much rather just sit idly by. But in this life, we got to transform. We got to make differences. We got to learn to unlearn some stuff to make stuff change, to change our reality. Hey, Dave. So when you, if you want to change a reality, how do you do that? You have to become proactive. You have to make very, very step-by-step -step intentional decisions to make change. A lot of times we say we wish and we hope for things, and that's fine. But hoping and wishing without any action to seeing that come to light is not going to happen. I don't care how much you wish and hope for it. You must place action behind your desire of what you want to see. Now, what I've been asking most of the clients that I talk to um, that I'm dealing with just various things that's going on in, in various uh, clients' lives is I'm telling them, listen to me, you're in this movie of life. When you open up your eyes, what do you want to see in your life? I mean, seriously, what do you want to see? What do you really want to see in your life? Is there something that you, you're, you, you desire to see that you're not seeing? Because if that's the case, you can change it. You can make a decision to change it right now. We don't have to sit idly by and say, everybody else is doing this to me and doing that to me and look at my life, okay? But you can make a decision to change it. It only takes, listen to me, energy precedes action. I'm going to say it again. Energy precedes action. So when there is a thought or a desire or an, or you have an envisioning of what you see in your mind, in your heart, in your spirit, and you decide inside your soul, I want that, you're all in agreement. Your mind, your body, your heart, your mind, your soul is all in agreement. I want this to see. I want to see this. I envision this to be what I want it to be. You then have to take action. 
You can't just sit idly by and be an extra and say, I want that. And then say, okay, I'll just wait for my turn to come. Or hopefully it'll show up. Or maybe things will go the way I want them to. No, you got to get out there and move. You got to start putting forth the effort. You got to put forth the energy. Energy precedes action. If you want some things to change, if you want something to be beautiful and, and, and more, you want a more richer life, you want a more empowered life, you want something that looks better than what you're seeing right now when you open your eyes to your movie of life, then you must make changes. See, we can transform our reality just by that very thing. Just by taking the vision of what we see what we desire, scratch that, what we desire to see in our life. So what is it I desire? I desire to see, I don't know, we'll just say I desire to see my parenting to be in a better state. I want to see my, me and my daughter and, 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 and son getting along. That's what I want to see, right? It's not going that way right now, but that's what you would desire to see. So it starts with you as a parent. It starts with you. You must do some changing. But in order to change, you have to learn to unlearn some things. The way in which your parenting needs to be, I don't know, changed a bit. It needs to be, re, you know, we need to sometimes step back and reset some things. We need to step back and look and say, oh, well, this isn't working as a parent. I'm not getting along with my son. You know, I'm not getting along with my daughter. It's not just your son and daughter's fault. You're a part of the com combine. You're part of that union. So therefore, you have to be like, okay, I don't like what I'm seeing. So in order to change what I'm seeing, I must change me. In order to do that, I got to learn to unlearn some things. Good morning, Carolyn. So if you want to learn to unlearn some things, that's fine. That's what I got a course for called Learn to Unlearn. And in the course, I tell you and I show you how to change and transform just your mindset and then give you different exercises to do. And I also show you an actual infograph. And infographs are like a picture of how to make changes, how to make those steps. Because we can want and desire something all day. We can want and desire, I wish to have this, I hope to have that. But if we don't start making a, a vital and valuable change and decide and decision decide hey i think i'm going to change this and when i change this i want to see how this works will it transform if every time my daughter or my son makes a, co a comment and i go at him about this you know you know just we'll just say for instance i make a you know i make a smart aleck remark to my daughter or my son every time they say something i don't like and then he and i or she and i are in an argument it's like well okay that's not working <laughs> because I don't like this. I don't like this, uh, this extreme here. I don't, I don't like what I'm seeing every time I'm arguing with you or her over this. Obviously it's not working. So what do I need to do to change that? Oh, I didn't realize that. Yes, there is a cause and an effect. So when, or when they say or do something or say or do something in, in that tone or whatever, and I have a comeback of this and I get this every time, why well, continue to do it? But as a parent, we think, well, we're a parent. I, I can do what I want to do. Okay, but you're going to continue to see what you're seeing. And you're not happy with that. So therefore, there needs to be a transformation. And the transformation needs to be you to unlearn some things on how you got that way. And then where did you get that from? <laughs> where did you get this, this way to which you want to talk to your child that way? And then you have this e extreme happening every time. And you're like, man, I get this every time with my kid. But where, where did you learn that from? You need to get back to the root of why you do what you do. And when you get to the root cause, you can then say, okay, I can make some tweaks on that. I can change it. But you got to be mindful and you got to be determined and you have to be proactive. In order to make change and transform, you got to be proactive and understand you're going to make mistakes. You're going to do the same thing again because it's been habitual. So in order to change that or transform that, you have to be consistent with evaluating you and making changes for you. Also, I hate my job. I get up every day and I go to my job and I hate my job. I hate my job, right? And people will say, well, career-based... 
I wake up every morning and I just dread going to work every day. I dread, literally dread to get up to go to this job I have to go to every day. Listen, only you can change that. And you can change it by making a very serious decision. Number one, you can either change by saying, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to transform by, I don't know, maybe I'm going to inspire something in myself and start getting into a craft that I enjoy and like, or one I already do. And I think I'm going to figure out a way to learn how to profit from this particular craft or joy that I do anyway. And then maybe I will become my own boss. That's one thing that you can do. The other thing is you can look to find a different job. You don't have to burden yourself every single day of your life to go to a job you hate. Why would you do that to yourself? This is your movie. This is your life. Your life movie is saying you dread getting up every morning to go to a job? That is unfortunate. And not to mention, in that burden, that is bad for your health. So if you have a job you don't care for, change the position. Go to a different job. Look and, and find a different, you know, there's online positions you can be doing. Hey, Angela. There's, thank you, love. You're beautiful, too. Um, there's other jobs you can go to to find yourself like, man, I didn't realize that I can find another job that I'm really excited to get up to go to every day. And understand this, your job is not going to give you or gift you your true value anyway. Your job is to maintain your self-preservation. So how am I going to preserve myself is through my job. The money's coming in to help me make sure I have a place, a roof over my head, I have a car to drive, I have my basics and my needs met. You have to have a job. I'm sorry. And you may not be in love with the job. But understand your job is what you have to have in order to self-preserve. And self-preservation is essential in this life. You've got to have a job. However, you have this life and in your life movie, like I said, being the executive producer of your movie, listen, just decide to yourself, you know what? I don't have to be burdened every day because every day is a day cut off from the how when when your movie is going to end. As as my dad says, we're not all, all of us are not leaving here alive. We're all we all got a checkout date, right? So, understanding that our movie is going to end, we want to make sure that while we're in this movie of life that we are enjoying each and every day. As much as we can. Yes, we're going to have bad days. Yes, we're going to have sick days. Yes, we're going to have days of burden. But let's focus on how to make sure our life movie, okay, is really going in the direction of where we are really empowered. And in that empowerment, we are actually more, at, you got to weigh it now. We want balance, right? We're going to have give and take. We're going to have negative and positive. But we want our life balanced so it's not constantly in the negative and constantly in the positive. We want to balance. Here's the other thing. I always have to, uh, often ask people that are my clients, I say, let me ask you something. I said, um, your relationship that you're in, your primary love relationship. I know there's quite a few different types and styles of relationships, so I'm just going to put it out there across the board. Your primary relationship, love relationship, um, what do you want to see every day? When you open your eyes up, what is your ideal relationship to you? What does that look like? And when we truly look at it and we see what we see, we're like, I want this. If I can open my eyes tomorrow... And I have the ideal life. I have the ideal relationship. It will look like this. Like I said earlier, energy proceeds action. So when you envision that, that you want and desire in your relationship, you now are putting the energy forth for that action to come to life. Okay? So I ask people often, you know, a lot of times we will say, I desire to be married. Or I desire to be in a relationship. Or I desire this or I desire that. And I say, take the label off of it altogether. Just take the label off of it. And what do you want to see? In your ideal relationship, what do you want to see? And what I mean by that is, what level of care do you want this person to care about you? What level of encouragement do you want this person to give to you? What level of 
um, intimacy do you want to have in that relationship? What level of um, excitement do you want to have for each other? These are things that has nothing to do with a label, but everything to do with an idealistic relationship. So what is it that you want to see? And in that, when you start saying, well, I would love to have a mate that really encouraged me to be the best me. I really would love to have a mate that enjoys talking to me every day. I would really like a mate that is a cuddler, somebody that likes to hold and caress. I really would like a person that really is empowering me. I really want a person that celebrates me. Okay, so all of those things I just said, right? Didn't say nothing about a label. I didn't say nothing about marriage. I didn't say nothing about being in a relationship. I didn't say none of that. But that's what you want to see in your primary relationship. Look at here. The powerful thing about that is do that for yourself. Because when you start to encouraging you, when you start encouraging yourself, when you start taking the time to really embrace your beauty, to really embrace your, your, your fondness of who you are, you then find yourself like, I don't need someone on the outside to caress my, my, uh, I, my person or myself. I just love having someone that I care about that cares about me in, in unison. That's fine, but you got to care about you first. <laughs> <laughs> we want somebody else to do all this caring about us, but are we caring about us? That's the question. How are we self-loving? Are we really loving ourselves? Are we really caring about ourselves? And that's important. That's key. Because if you want someone to care about you, you got to care about you. If you want a mate to love you and encourage you and be supportive of what you're doing, you've got to do the same for you. And then look, when you do that, the person that you're desiring to be with will, will, will link up to that frequency. See, like I told you before, energy precedes action. So just like I will put it this way, the people who need to get this message will attract to the video. I don't have to go out and, and knock on everybody's door and say, hey, I'm on a new day, you know. I don't have to do that. But what I found is, when a message needs to get to somebody's heart, mind, and soul, they attract to the video. Because of why? Because energy precedes action. So what I'm trying to give you guys to see, and what I'm trying to gift you guys to understand, is you are the executive producer of your life movie. And so with that said, it is vitally important that you pay attention in your life and be present in it. And understand, okay, I'm opening my eyes up every morning. Every morning, there's a new take, a new action, clink, like they do on the movies, right? Action, clink, every morning. And you're opening your eyes to your life, opening your eyes to your life, opening your eyes to your life, every morning, opening your eyes to your life. And what do you see? What do you see when you look at your life? Is it idealistic? Is it, a, it are you content? What I mean by contentment? And I'm not talking about, yeah, I'm great. I feel wonderful. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about content. Are you fulfilled in your life on all stages, relationship, parenting, career, all of those things? Are all of those things in alignment? Financially, are all of those things in alignment? All of these things has to deal with who you are. Your life movie is yours. No one else. And let me tell you something. By the time someone ends up in hospice and they have six months to live on the planet, they are sitting there like, oh my God, look at the time I didn't do X, Y, Z. Don't have that happen to you. Don't. Because when you, you have to look at it every day that that person that calls action in the movies is at your bed, at the tip, at the bottom of your bed every morning with that action, that action thing getting ready to clank down on the next scene of your life. And they say, action, clank, you better be ready to get busy. And I'm talking about get busy about what it is you want to live for. Why are you here? What is your purpose? What are you here to do? Everybody has one. We can't sit around and complain about what we don't have because God gifted us with everything we need when we came into this life. Everything we need. We had a mind. We had a heart. 
we had a soul. Those three things alone is what you need to have an extreme, beautiful experience in life. I hope I'm getting to somebody today. You can transform your reality just by making a conscious decision. That when you get up in the morning, I want you guys, everybody on here, I want you to envision the man standing at the bottom of that bed every morning saying action. And I want you to say, you know what? Today, the movie scene will be this. Because you can make a difference just in making a decision to be the main actor, to be the executive producer of what you produce in this lifetime. You can do it. All right. Hey, the 30 minutes is already up. <laughs> it goes so fast. But I hope what I gifted you guys today is something you could take and, and transform your life, transform your reality. Please make sure to share this. Somebody out there needs to hear it. And please make sure, like I said, check out my course, Learn to Unlearn. The course is really phenomenal. It's very important for you to learn how to transform some things. Sometimes as an adult, we act like we don't have to learn nothing. We act like we know everything, and we don't. Adult learning is essential for us to make a better choice, to be more mindful, to not be in this comatose fixation that we're doing fine and we don't need no help. Yes, we do. I always get help. I always seek spiritual guidance. I know. I Look, I'm not perfect, so I have to seek help. I have to ask people. I have to get advice. I have to ask people to advise me on stuff. I'm not perfect. I'm always learning. And even though I do this, even though I'm a wisdom coach, even, even though people come to me for advice and, and ask for, um, you know, some type of, you know, guidance, I still have advisors help me. I still have people that I turn to and say, hey, man, I just got a question. We have to have that because in this lifetime, hey, Michael, in this lifetime, we have to have advisors. We have to have people that are um, encouraging us, impressing on us that it's okay to make mistakes. It is fine, but we have to be learning in our life. We can't just think, hey, Terry, we can't just think that because we're adults, we no longer have to learn. Please get my course. It's called Learn to Unlearn. I'm going to click or I'm going to add, I'm sorry, I'm going to add the link to the um, to the course so you guys can join it. Um, and like I said, um, you know, it's very important that we understand that learning to unlearn some things in our life is really good for us. It helps us to transform some things. It actually helps us to um, get out of the thinking that we can no longer learn. And like I said, just like I told you guys earlier, my daddy said... <laughs> To let you guys know to always continue to be curious in your life. Don't think you know everything. Don't think you know everything. Because a lot of times we just don't. So make sure that you understand, man, it's okay to be unsure. It's un okay to feel a little bit burdened with not having everything up to par. But always remember, because you're the executive producer of your life, you can change the scene like that. It doesn't take that long to do it. You can change the scene. You can make different. You can you can put different actors in your world when you're when you're the executive producer. Don't just be an extra in your life. Make sure you start to be proactive and saying this person needs to go. This person I need to add. This person I because you can. It's your life. You know what I'm saying? This is this is a beautiful thing. And like I said, I'm gonna say it again. Every morning at the end of the bed, envision a man standing before you and saying action with that clamp down. Boom. This is scene one and get busy, get started, get excited, get encouraged, get motivated. You know what I'm saying? And, and really start to think about what is it I want to, to do? What is it I really desire to have? And then envision it. And in your vision of what you see, always remember that is this close to reality because action precedes energy and energy precedes action. Always remember that. It's very important. Very important. All right. Woo. I had a great time. I did. I, I love, I love gifting and giving you guys these words because let me tell you something. I didn't know how I was going to connect all of the dots today, this morning, and right before um, in my meditation, I said, God, give it to me. He said, here it is. 
I'm like, he's always on time, isn't he? God's always on time. So always remember, you are the executive producer of your life and you can do it. You can make the changes just by mere thought because like I said, energy precedes action. All right. All right, guys. I'm so glad you guys were here. I love each and every one of you. If you need a wisdom coach, don't hesitate to call me. I'm one eight four four five wisdom extension zero. If you need a wisdom coach, if you need to join this course, I will be clicking the link in here very shortly. So you'll be able to join the course today. And oh, oh and if you're not a part of my wisdom focus group yet, <laughs> I will put that in here also because I do have a wisdom focus group that's just $9 a month and it's for all of my people that I put under my wing. I make sure I cover them and um, we have a really good time. We do video chats and, and we really get caught up in having a joy of understanding. I'm getting ready to have a heart and mind call. Um, it's looking more like it might be next Sunday. I mean, everybody's wanting to do it pretty quickly. So... Um, my heart and mind calls, we actually, I have all these people come in and we just talk about what's on our heart and mind, man. And to be a wisdom focus group member, like I said, is $9 a month. So it's, it's really reasonable. So just let me know. Yeah. See, Mike, he's already, he's already telling, he's already giving it, giving the do, aren't you, Mike? Yes. It's fire. We have some fun, don't we? So, um, I appreciate you guys so much. Like I said, I love each and every one of you. I'm so thankful that you guys were here. Um, and like I said, share this video because somebody needs to hear it. All right. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Have a good day. Bye.